Previously on Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition, 11 dancers arrived in Los Angeles. We're here! I'm so excited. With one goal. This is the biggest competition I've ever been in. To become my ultimate dancer. Let the challenge begin. Each week, the dancers and their moms Mom and Kaylee. fought through the world's toughest oh, dance God. challenge to compete for $100,000 and a full scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet School of New York. Just give me it. I want it. Just give me it. They traveled from Broadway to Las Vegas. You are on fire. And entered a world of nightmares. Be tougher. Be stronger. The dancing. More passion. Go. Was intense. Ba, ba, ba. Giga, giga. And so were the moms. No, I'm not gonna let you talk. Remember, I don't shut up. Oh, whatever, bitch. They battled their daughters. Where is Allie? I'm so sick of your attitude. You look like a okay. fool out there. You're ridiculous. They battled each other. Yes, right. what, girlfriend? What, girlfriend? Get your fat ass and walk it back that way. All right, big boob, baby. And they dared to battle me. I'm sick of it. I really am. And don't let the door hit you in the ass on the way out. Go! Each week, someone was eliminated. Today is not your day. I'm gonna use my callback card <laughs> for you. <laughs> now the final four are in for the fight of their lives. Gotta prove something tonight, right now. McKaylee. I'm just a little Midwest girl that no one knew of, and I made it so far. Trinity. I need to prove that even with a small, short body, I can still win this competition. Gianna. Winning this competition would be life-changing. Kalani. I just want to win so badly. Each of them have the strength, determination, dedication, and talent. Yes, 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 yes. But tonight, only one will become my ultimate dancer. Today is your day. Come on, you gotta get up. Jay, and listen to me. You have a chance to win this whole entire thing. Winning this competition would be life-changing. My family barely has any money, and this scholarship would mean I can go to college. You could sure as hell win this thing, but you gotta keep focused. You know what, from the beginning of this whole competition, Gianna took a lot of crap from Abby. Guess what? She has gotten better and better through each week, picking up choreography better. She's trying to turn her feet out. She stretches every night for that flexibility, and she is getting better with it. You just have to keep your confidence up. OK. All right? I have watched her grow from this little scared girl into this self-confident, ready to kill it. Teenager. Princess. Ah. I'm newly divorced, so Gianna and I have been through a lot. Going home with a win will make this whole experience worth it. You know, we're gonna have another challenge today, so we have to win again. Don't stress me out. So let's make a deal. I won't stress you out. You focus on your dance. Why haven't we done this the entire time? Yeah. Hi, Daddy. How are you doing? I'm still here. You made it, huh? Yep, it's to the finale. I want to win the Joffrey Ballet Scholarship for New York so badly because it's just such a great opportunity. And just the $100,000 is just a crazy amount of money. Congratulations. I'm so proud of you. I know how hard you work. It means everything to Kalani to win this. She came here to prove to Abby that I am your ultimate dancer. You know what you have to do this week? You have to really focus on all the corrections that you've been given here since day one. Connie started dancing when she was five. She gets technique awards at almost every competition we go to. Connie is Abby's style of dancer. Abby's said that numerous times from week one. Connie's critiques that she gets all the time is basically performance. She better bring it and show Abby that she's willing to do anything to be the best. There's no room for mistakes this week. I'm gonna use my uniqueness. They're all like built the same. And then there's me with short legs and just like okay feet. But I have that power unlike any of them. 
Abby has stated to Trinity over and over again, you have a stockier build, you have shorter legs, you're not built like a ballerina. So the Joffrey Ballet is gonna be something that will lengthen her legs and lengthen her muscles so that she looks long and lean. We didn't start her very early in dance because she's been busy doing gymnastics, but Trinity was born to dance. Last year, I was undefeated. I got first at practically every competition. Dance is her passion. She's proven herself to be here. Love you. Bye, Mommy. All right, bye. Go, get ready. I think you still have a shot at this thing. Mm -hmm. So what I want from you is just confidence. It's been a really tough journey in the competition, so I am really proud of myself that I've even made it this far because I'm just a little Midwest girl that no one really knew of. Winning the Joffrey School of Ballet in New York scholarship, it would change my life. I've stood on the side of the stage and watched you do extraordinary things. From the beginning, McKaylee was told to find a personality, and that is new for McKaylee. So if she is gonna win this competition, she has to expose her inner self like she's never done. Confidence is everything. I don't want McKaylee trapped in Nebraska just because that's where our family roots are. It would mean the world to McKaylee to win the scholarship. I mean, it would be her springboard out of Nebraska. McKaylee, go show them your passion, your drive, your determination, and how much you want this. I love you. Troops. Hi. Are you surprised to see us all? Yeah. Yes. Hello. All three judges are here, but there is no audience, and I really have no idea what's happening, and I'm already nervous. Now, there's only one person that really knows what it's like to win Abby's ultimate dance competition. Turn around and take a look. Hi, Kalani, Trinity, McKaylee, and Gianna. It's Brianna, last year's winner. I'm just so proud of you guys. And no matter what happens, you guys are going to do amazing. I know it sounds cheesy, but dance like nobody's watching. Because if you do that, then you're just going to perform your best. Go out and dance your heart out. And I know you guys are going to be great. Bye. All right, welcome to your last and final official challenge. I'm scared because there's always some twist that Abby pulls on us. I just hope that it's going to be a normal group challenge. McKaylee. Yes. What were your favorite two dances from this season? I loved my Lame solo. I got a standing ovation from you guys, and it was just. Oh, <laughs> OK. It was just a good feeling dance, and. Probably the first week Madonna with these two. Kalani, what were your favorite two performances? The Rodeo, Friends Don't Cowgirl, and my duet with Gianna Twisted. OK. Gianna? My zombie solo. my twisted duet with Kalani. Last but definitely not least, Trinity. Medusa. And Hip Hop with JoJo. OK. Moms, come on down and join your daughters once again. Each of you mentioned some favorite dances. I would like you to choose which routine you will be performing as an encore performance. This is a big decision. This week's challenge is an encore performance. That means whatever you did that we liked, amp it up. We want to be blown away all over again. Show us all of your assets. Hide the flaws. Have those skills changed? Hopefully, they have improved. Part of this competition is making the right choices. Throughout this whole competition, Abby has really told people, you didn't make the right choice. McKaylee. Lay Miss. Trinity. I would like to do Down and Dirty. OK. That was a smart decision on her part, because that was the number that made her shine the most. Gianna. Oh my god, Gianna's so stressed. That's like, think fast. Like, this is for $100,000. I would like to do my zombie solo. 
All right, come on in. Rhinestone cowgirl. Kalani can do no wrong, and no matter what, she's dancing. I don't know that Abby will get disappointed in Kalani. There's one more very pertinent piece of information you should know. At the end of this challenge, we won't be picking a winner. Sweet. We will be picking who goes home. One of the four of you remaining will be leaving us immediately following the challenge. This is it. All you have is 10 minutes. Use it wisely. Go. We are making them on the spot. Remember choreography that they have to perform. Go, 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 go. Retaining choreography makes you worth more. Maybe worth $100,000. Oh, over your dance, do you have any wristbands on? I don't even remember my critiques for this number. I just hope that I do everything right. It's crazy that any one of us could be going home right now. How many, how much time left? Do we have a time check? Shauna's hardest thing is her mental focus. I doubt very much that she can actually remember the choreography. No, stop, stop. I'm really confident in myself and in this routine, so I'm aiming just to impress them like I did two weeks ago. I hope whoever goes home, it's not me. Hey guys, time's up. Everybody needs to come to sit right now. This is crazy. If it isn't the same way that I did it last time when I got a standing ovation in the bigger ways, I'm going to be going home. Stop. Let's go, let's go. McKaylee, you're on. Come on out and take the stage. Thank you, Michaeli. Don't go there. Don't even try. All right, Gianna, come on up. Let's get this over with. Trinity has won four challenges. She is explosive when it comes to fighting to stay in this competition. We're gonna shake down the heavens. We're gonna shout it out.
sound coming up from the ground and put my toes to my head, making me see red. Thank you, Trinity. Kalani. There's no room for mistakes. I'm really nervous. Kalani, please join the girls in the wings. She lands on her ass. Are you freaking kidding me? If Kalani doesn't get sent home, I'm gonna flip. Come on, I know she's Abby's favorite, but enough is enough. I feel great. How do we feel about what we saw? This one's killing me, Kalani. She is definitely an Abby lead style of dancer. And of all the kids that I see at the Joffrey, she has the right facility, the right look. I just feel like today, going today, by this. Today, she did the aerial walkover. She fell. She got caught up in the rope. I didn't know I was going to miss my friend Ariel. Honey, Trinity didn't even show any technique whatsoever. I'm sorry, folks. In my opinion, Trinity was a bigger disappointment for me than Kalani was. I want to see a softer side, a deeper side. She was winning challenge. At the challenge. After the challenge. At the challenge. Right. Powerhouse. I used my callback card to save her, and I believe in Trinity. Trinity doesn't have the perfect dancer's body, but Kalani does. She's got the talent. I do not know what to expect from these three judges. Abby is very unpredictable. Kaylee's had some soft moments and some really great moments. She had the confidence. Ugh, I'm so she mixed. lip -sync. I'm yeah. so mixed, though. Yes. I'm really proud of you. That was really hard to do. As far as Gianna goes. Saw her as a star. Eh. What? Was it better than the first time she did it? No. Okay. Was it as good? Yes. Do we think that she's most improved or no? Gianna, I from her could... journey. I think she could be most improved. I don't know. I fixed everything that she told me to fix, and I think I did really good. Okay. All right, are we ready? Today was about survival. Who will make it into the top three? Two of you made very wise choices. McKaylee, Gianna, you had your head in the game. You came into this challenge prepared. You will be dancing in the finale. Go visit your moms. <laughs> Thank you. I never thought that this would happen in a million years. I'm in the final three, and this is like a dream come true. Congratulations. Kalani, Trinity, I don't think you made the smartest choices. Moms, come on, join your daughters. Today, one of you 
is going home. Kalani, we all commented on how brave it was to put an aerial walkover at the end of a routine. You have to come out and nail it every time. Okay. Trinity, you've proven yourself time and time again. But you needed to show us your softer side, the vulnerability. And at this point in the competition, there's no room for error. Today, one of you is going home. Kalani, today is not your day. I have been fighting for you in this competition every step of the way. This was the ultimate challenge. I'm very sad that I didn't get to the top three because I worked really hard to get to this point. Honey, I am so sorry. It's okay. You wowed Richie, and you wowed Rochelle, and you wowed me the day you walked in the door. Okay. Really <laughs> It's unfortunate that she fell. Bye. But Kalani, I have to say thank you. Because now Gianna has a good shot of winning. You did good, honey. You know that, right? I don't know if I was gonna make it this far now that I'm actually here. It's really cool. Oh my gosh, Abby didn't want her favorite dancer to go home. If Kalani did her routine perfectly, Trinity would have gone home. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. You survived the ultimate challenge. That was a hard one. Each one of you will be doing a solo in the finale, as well as a group routine that will be judged. Right now, there's two people standing between you and the title. Abby's ultimate dancer. You guys better wow us. Okay. All right, come on. Got to get to rehearsal. Let's go. This is it. They have to get ready for the final stage show. I want to see the very best these kids have to offer. They need to impress us like never before. Congratulations on making it to the top Yay! three of Abby's Thank ultimate you. dance competition. Yay. OK. You are doing the group dance, so the theme is basically going to be boxing. I have one more surprise for the group number. I brought back some friends to join you. I'm really happy that everybody came back. Everybody has such like a unique personality. I missed you so much. <laughs> I'm really excited to see everybody again. The bitches are back. Miss back. your big mom. <laughs> I did not miss them one bit. Our top three, can you actually step over here onto the stage? I am absolutely shocked. I cannot believe that Gianna is in the top three. I can't even fathom what Kalani would have done wrong to get sent home. So for your final group number, each finalist is going to have a team of dancers. Travis and Tyler, go step behind Miss Trinity. Trinity is a gymnast, not a dancer. I wouldn't expect her to be in the top three. McKaylee will be joined by Ali and Kalani. It's exciting to be back, but I would rather be in the competition. I wish I could do a solo at this finale. And that leaves my two superstars with Gianna. Gianna! <laughs> the final three are really good dancers. I feel like I should be in there. I don't know which one I would replace, but I should have been in there. <laughs> Jojo with the Bobo and all those creepy mothers have wanted me and my kid out of here the whole time. Let's go. Right. And here it is at top three, and we're still here, and they're gone. Let's talk fast, because Did this ain't gonna last me? long. I hate you! We have three great moms, sisterly bonding. But really, it's a competition. It's $100,000 at stake. We are here to win it. What do you think about the other moms? Jealous as hell. Yeah, that's right. She's little. He Who do I get stuff with? 
Jojo. <laughs> Jojo? That's the only one I could have done without. We are down the top three dancers. And they're really the cream of the crop. The girls are all doing a contemporary solo. One, two, three. Gianna needs to work on all the technical things. She's just not flexible enough. She doesn't jump high enough. Oh, yes. Go and up. Push, push, go. Now Trinity, strong, fierce. But I want to see Trinity focus on her softer side. And McKaylee needs to show us the passion, a personality, performance. Yes, be pretty. She needs to work that face. The solo for this week is really about making you shine and you finding a personal connection. What is happening in your life that you can infuse into this dance and choreography? Like about just like my life? Say it, come on. OK, well, my parents are getting divorced. Um, it's just been a big change, and it has really just been, like, really tough, so. Why are you crying, Cindy? Um, the whole divorce, I thought that she took it better than some of the other ones. Mm -hmm. I thought she was OK. Really, she wasn't. So it sounds like you're putting on a front to the world because maybe you see everything around you shattering. But you need to know that there is strength in being vulnerable. Cool, let's start. I really have to give my solo everything that I've got emotion-wise because that's one thing that I have is my performance and stage presence. What I see as a technical problem right now is whenever you do a leg, there's a tension in the upper body. Instead of it being about this being pulled back and open and you looking at the leg, you're drawing your eye up there. Gianna is thinking about picking up the choreography, telling a story, and performing. And that's my pet peeve. So I'm going to be looking at her from the bottom up. All right, make me believe. This song, the lyrics about always wanting to be so perfect and trying to impress everybody. Run should feel like you're finally OK with not being this perfect girl that everybody wants you to be. That's what this piece is. Let's go. She, and you're talking about yourself in the third person, yeah? So it's like you're talking, you're literally talking to yourself in your head. She finds it hard to breathe. I am very stressed because right now, the dance doesn't feel like me. Say some of the lyrics. I don't even know them. The girl that lip syncs every single song? Well, I'm trying not to think about the lyrics this week, because then if I don't really think about the lyrics, then I won't sing the lyrics. <laughs> I can't win with this kid. Well, sweetheart, you have to learn the lyrics. You have to know what your story is. What's the story? I don't really know. You don't really know the story? Nope. Well, if you're on stage running, honey, you better know what you're running toward or who you're running away from. OK. The rehearsal time is almost over. And I'm worried about McKaylee. Everybody wants this. Everybody wants that $100,000. You got some work to do. Thank you, Abby. I want to win the competition so bad, but I just don't know if this solo is good enough. It's a matter. Go to the bathroom. Come on. Let's stay here. Listen, Kaylee, it's okay. Stop. It is the worst possible time for McKaylee to fall apart. Like, I've never seen her walk out of a rehearsal before in my life. Okay. You have to. You have to. When you're 13, it's just so hard. No one understands you except for you. I'm just stressed. You don't know the story? What are you doing? I don't know anything. I don't know. I don't know the story. I don't know why it doesn't feel good. I just don't know. No. It just doesn't feel good. No. 
Michaeli needs to tell the story of this dance. I gotta let Michaeli find that for herself. Knock it off, pull your bootstrings up, keep strong, keep confident, bring your positivity to this competition. You guys okay? I'm just frustrated because it doesn't feel good in my body. I just feel kind of awkward doing it. Why don't we try something else? So let's listen to this music and adjust. Can we have playback, please? Take a second listen to the song and I really am listening to the words. In that moment, I was feeling exactly that. I felt like I had to put on a smile for someone and I just felt like I had my dream and it was just kind of being ruined. It was just the perfect song because every single word that it said, it was my emotions. Good, six, seven, good girl. One, bigger, scoop. Leg higher with the left leg, go. Tara wants me to do my own story, so my grandfather just recently passed away, and so I'm dedicating this dance to him. Make sure when you're in turning and you start your second turns, give me this leg. We want to see the back of this knee. You're doing this. And this knee is coming along for the ride. I want to see graceful movement in between the big, impressive skills. Trinity, this is your time to prove to everybody that you are not a gymnast, that you are a dancer. Bye, Abby. Bye-bye, guys. Trinity knows that she is here by some mishap that Kalani made. And just by what, grace? By luck, she's in the top three. She is definitely the underdog. Making it by the skin of her teeth is on her mind. Good, breathe, go for it. Ago, up, up, hush, breathe, where's that face? Hey. These two moms, they wanna come in, they wanna talk about the routine. Go ahead and gossip. I really don't care, my daughter and I are here for the final stretch of the competition. What was that? What kind of a length thing was that? Trinity's not a super great performer, and she has no technique. She's very short with very large legs and very short arms. Abby made a huge mistake getting rid of me. And she's so tight. Like, you know what I mean? It's so like, brr. Look at her neck, look at her neck. Look at her neck muscles, chin's down. All right, well, let's go. Let's go. Okay. I need to prove that even with a small, short body, I can still win this competition. Hi, guys. Hey. Were you in group rehearsal? Mm -mm. No. No. I want to give a toast. You're going to throw it at me? No. Really? <laughs> OK. You never know. I want to congratulate the three of you remaining. And I'd like to give a toast to Gianna. Thank you. And wish her nice. the best of luck in the competition. Thank you. Here, here. Cheers. Cheers. Michaela's been amazing, and I think her technique, everything. She reminds me so much of Kalani, obviously, but I just love to watch her. And Gianna's grown more than anything. She has. For I sure. just have a hard time supporting her because of the fact of you lie still and cheat to make your way through life. Oh, God, here we go again. That's not what I said. I'm just sick of hearing from Kira. You know what? I've had it. I'm not buying anything they're saying. I'm looking at all you people, <laughs> and you have this weird ass look on your faces, like, so funny. Um, I just shut up, Shari, for one second. It all sounds like bull. <laughs> Toast your kids. Oh, yeah, we're real happy for you guys, your top three. Lovey, lovey, everybody's lovey. Bull. Okay. I mean, to tell you the truth, this is more stress having you back here than not having you here. All of you. It's really scary going into the green room. I think we're all pretty stressed out because, like, this is it and this is the end. Butterflies in my stomach. I mean, I'm not even dancing.
This final solo routine that Trinity is performing means a lot to Trinity. She's going to show a softer side of herself, and that's what Abby wants to see. This is it. Today's the most stressful out of them all. I woke up with knots in my stomach. I'm a nervous wreck. Just remember, this is it. Last time you're on this stage. I know. I'm so stressed out that anything she says is, like, irritating me. OK, goodbye. I know what I'm doing, Mom. You told me that you weren't going to do this. And okay. what are you doing right now? You're doing it. Will the piece be good enough? There's a lot of emotions running through McKaylee's head. We're good. And I'm feeling that tension. Like, the whole Midwest will get behind you because. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should just go hang out with Cindy so that she doesn't talk to Gianna and you don't talk to me. Today is competition day. The dancers are very busy. But I might just have to pay them another visit. Surprise. Hello. I would like to introduce Davis Robertson. He is the artistic director of the Joffrey Concert Group at the Joffrey Ballet School of New York. Wow. This is amazing because he is the one who's giving us the scholarship. So not only is Davis here as a guest today, but he is going to be our fourth judge. Like, he's into ballet. Is he going to pick out the one that looks more like a ballerina? I know that we're going to find one of you who has what we're looking for. Don't let the nerves show. Oh, crap. He's going to be, like, just looking for technique. I have quite a bit of work to do. Good luck, ladies. Thank you. Nice Thank you. meeting you. This routine that you're going to perform is worth $100,000 in cash. And the scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet School of New York Cindy, why are you crying? Just, it's emotional. <laughs> Sherry, you're crying too. Sorry. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> it's been a really nice journey, so thank you. Take all that energy and put it where it belongs and break a leg. excited to be back and I'm really excited for the group dance. I feel like we'll just go out there and be like, show you. Hi, Hi guys. guys. How's it going, man? Hey. This is Peter. Nice. Like, hey. Thank you. Everyone is back and it's so nice to just see everyone's faces. Are you excited? Welcome to the final stage show of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. Woo! We're down to the top three. It all comes down to this. These three girls have been excellent students throughout the last 11 weeks. Their feet bled a little bit. I'm sure they've had blisters and pulled muscles, but they came out week after week in the competition and shine. <laughs> Over here, please direct your attention to last year's winner of Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. That's Brianna. Abby, how do you feel about Gianna, Trinity, and Michaela? We have narrowed it down to our final three. I think they're great. Trinity comes from that hard-hitting hip-hop, the funky jazz. She is stellar. Then you have Gianna. She's kind of like the dark horse in this race. She just comes out here week after week and kills it in the performance. McKaylee is probably the most ballet based. So who's going to come out here and dance like they're worth $100,000? Richie and Rochelle, what do these dancers have to uh, have to show you tonight to deserve to win that title of Abby's Ultimate Dancer? I want to see them dance as themselves. That's what I've been missing up until this point. I want to see them go full throttle all the way. What I am hoping for is what I've been saying since the moment I got here. I want to see them kick, jump, leap, turn, and bite the apple. Ha, give it to me, Kevin. Ha. Ha. I want to see these three dancers come out as individuals and own that stage. And our fourth judge down here, Davis, first of all, thank you very much for being here. My pleasure. Thank you. What do you want to see in the scholarship? Room? Technique is important. But technique is not everything. It is something that they can still learn. I started as a break dancer. I went from spinning on my head to classical ballet. So what happens here is just as important as what happens right there. 
Gianna, please stretch, 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 stretch right now. Oh, you're Jay, you're going to say. Mom, you said you weren't going to do it. All right, well, I'm you just telling you. I will just do it because you're going on stage any minute, and then you won't have time. It's the same old Cindy Gianna story. Gianna can't remember her dance. She's frustrated. Cindy's harping on her. Gianna tells her to shut up. Same old song and dance. <laughs> Brenda, we need the tape. Need the tape. You have to trust in her. We are about to see the final group numbers from our top three competitors. But first, we have a breakout star from Dance Moms, Maddie of the Abby Lee Dance Company. I brought a member of the Abby Lee Dance Company all the way to California. I am so excited that Maddie is here to perform. Joining her on stage is singer-songwriter Alex Calise performing the song, Survive. Make some noise for him. Before we bring our finalists out here, we have a very special performance from our very own Mr. Richie Jackson and eight of his dancers. Yes. Woo! Last year, Richie's dance took place inside the Circle of Freedom. Am I going to get danced into where all genres of dance are welcome? But now, Q's news, that's his arch nemesis, has destroyed Richie's world. And we're all wondering if they'll dance again. Let's find out right now. Put your hands together. I really need Michaela to bring this tonight, and so I have to keep on her. I have to stay talking to her, even if she doesn't want me to. Michaela, what? Come here. Stretch. I want your legs to go up. We have come so far from the Midwest, and she is so close. I am not stopping now. We gotta kill it tonight and show them why you deserve to win, and nobody else deserves to win except for you singing and dancing a song called Sass that she co-wrote with Martin Axe. Please welcome our very own Broadway legend, Rochelle Rack.
well done. Right. Guys, we have to go. Guys, we have to go. I'm really freaking out. I'm so nervous. I'm just nervous that I'm gonna disappoint Abby again. And my mom, I really just want her to relax. Stop. Mom, stop. I want to focus on my dancing and not like listening to my mom. Mom, you need to stop fussing. Let's get our three finalists out here right now. Come on out with your moms. Let's hear it for McKaylee and her mom, Sherry, Gianna and Cindy, and Trinity and Tina. Welcome. Dancers, before we start, we have a little surprise for you, some messages from some of the folks that care about you the most, some uh, messages from your hometown friends and family. Let's look at the screen over here. Hey, Gianna, we're so proud of you to get where you've gotten to. We know that you can win it. We send you all our love and good wishes and good luck. Can you just win this thing already and come home? We all miss you. Gianna, from when you were two years old, all I wanted to do was watch you on the stage. You are an incredible dancer. You have come this far, and everybody is so proud of you. Mommy's so proud of you. You light up my heart. Shine on that stage and do what you love to do, and that's dance. I love you. Hi, Kaylee. I've watched you dance since you were two years old. You've always danced with class, humility, and grace. Dance your heart out and leave nothing on the stage. Good luck, sweetheart. Kaylee, I am so blessed to have you as my daughter. I have watched you grow so much over this competition. You are a risk taker. You have heart and soul. And you let it come out on the stage. Go out tonight and dance for what's inside your heart and what's inside your soul. We love you. <laughs> Hi, Trinity. Hi, Trinity. Just mom, I want to wish you good luck. Good luck, Trinity. Good luck, Trinity. I love you. <laughs> Trinity, you have taken this competition by storm. You have won four challenges. Congratulate our winner. We have another winner, Trinity. You have come from being eliminated and saved. I'm gonna use my callback card for you. We started off this dance competition as a team. We will end as a team. And you have made your entire family proud. Good luck, sweetheart. I love you. Our next performance is a group dance. As always, everything the dancers do on this stage is being judged. Now, please welcome Gianna, McKaylee, and Trinity, along with Haley, Ali, JoJo, Kalani, Travis, and Tyler in a boxing themed group dance called The Contenders. Let's hear it for them. Oh. 
any critiques for our finalists here? I really thought they were all exemplary. Yes! Trinity, if I was going into the ring, I would not want you in there with me. The cartwheel stamp back handspring, back layout step out, clean, sharp, strong, as Trinity always is. Gianna, your performance quality is always top notch. Good. You didn't need to do any tricks at all. You did one jump, you took that robe off, you came down center stage, and you took over the stage. Thank you. McKaylee, I think your performance was also extremely clean. Right over there, stage right, you hit that four pirouettes at the top of the number. I loved seeing the little ballet combination. Although it was short, it was very sweet. So congratulations. This is going to be even tougher tonight. You three were sassing it up. I saw a finger wave, a bite the apple, a line, good feet. I saw everything for the three of us. You really were outstanding. Gianna. It was good, but it was, I felt like the other girls, it was a little bit more of a fight. Do not be afraid. We need to see it. You girls are amazing. It's been wonderful watching you grow. Thank you. I saw three amazing stars perform just in front of my face. I thought it was amazing. What I just saw was the start of a great night tonight of you all putting everything on the line for your dreams and to become Abby's ultimate dancer. Davis, this is your first time seeing any of the dancers do their thing. What'd you think? This is my introduction to you, and uh, I'm a hard critic. I saw spots that you each can improve on. The most important thing to me in a hip hop dance is being right there on the beat. McKaylee, you weren't right on those beats. It's gotta be pop, 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 pop. It's got to be there on the beat. Trinity, when it came to the ballet, you showed me that you were not confident. I saw in your eyes that there was a question mark there. Gianna, you can't settle. Of course. Uh, You're a ballet guru. Life's about substance. You got to bring that substance to everything. I think hearing Davis's critique, now I kind of know that he is a tough judge. I gave that group dance everything I've got, and if that wasn't good enough for him, I don't know what is. I still want to see more. Getting down to the end, all that remains between these three dancers and $100,000 is their last solo performance. Okay, no regrets, okay, baby? Perfect. People are doubting you, sweetheart. No, no. Don't let them doubt. Our first solo of the final competition is a contemporary solo called Stellar. Let's hear it for Trinity. Trinity just has to bring it. She has to show great technique and show these judges that she's not just a gymnast.
opportunity. I want to start this with Richie. What I saw tonight was the gymnast, the dancer, and the star. Nothing stopped you. I didn't feel like you were flinching. I felt like this was you. It was the execution, catching the beats, that gave me more of that hip hop feel. I saw you performing and dancing to the best of your ability tonight. You're dynamite. You're like bottled lightning in a four foot 10. And you're explosive. I think you have a tendency to spin fast rather than turn and enjoy the turn. Thank you. Rochelle, Thank you. you saved her using your callback card. So I'm curious to see what you thought of that. I think that was the best decision that I have made since I've been here. I would use it again, and I would use it again, and again, and again on you. Thank you. Thank you, Rochelle. In the first half, I didn't feel that you were as comfortable as you were in the second half. Your eyes are so important. When you catch a look, it says everything. And that's a lesson for you. That's a place that you need to step up your game in. Okay. All right? And now, Abby, we've heard some criticism from you in the past. The Trinity needed to work on bringing out her softer side. How do you think she did with this one tonight? Well, I think she did a great job. At the beginning of the number, I saw you really trying to turn out. Then as the number went on, I saw a little more turning in. When you did a tour jeté, that leg, when it splits through, it needs to stay turned out. You've been a rock star throughout every challenge. You've been an upstanding citizen and a really great kid. Thank you so much. Judges, thank you very much. Let's hear it for Trinity. Trinity's performance was an amazing performance. Could she have, you know, remembered some of her turnout? Of course she could. All you can do is hope for the best. Did you feel good? Yeah, if you feel so good, good, then... I mean, you know, Abby does... <laughs> okay, this is your last time on this stage, all right? No, let me just dance. I think out of everybody, Gianna has grown the most. She's doing an awesome job. She has been training and working so hard, and she's got it. She's got that star quality. Give mm. it all you got. Oh. Let's hear it for Gianna. Good luck, baby. I love you. You say you're doing well. You're doing just fine. I hear it all the time. And though I give a smile, I can't help but feel like I've been left behind. We'll start with you. Tonight, I feel like we stripped away all of the characters, all of the wigs. I saw your struggle. I saw your pain. You are a true 
performer. You do light up the stage. You certainly light me up. You went beyond what I've seen in the last 11 weeks. Your turn combination into the aerial, beautifully done. You did a great job. Thank you. You've laid your entire self out. And you did it from the beginning to the end. And the most impressive thing to me was during the applause, you stayed in character all the way through. And then, not until you felt the right moment, did you stand up and take your bow. That is a performer learning how to take it to the next level. There were some little fumbles. There were areas where I could have seen some more dimension. But overall, you grabbed me and pulled me in. And that's the kind of thing that I'm looking for. Congratulations. Thank you. There are those rare glimpses where I can't even have a reaction. Normally, I'd be like, yes, yes. But it was too powerful for that. This time, you were stripped down. And it was just Gianna having to give us Gianna. So I've got to give it to you, because I thought it was beautiful. I thought she did a great job. Abby, would you say that Gianna has learned from all of the corrections you've thrown at her over the last 11 weeks? Yes. She's learned. She's applied the corrections. I saw her make a conscious effort to bevel that ankle. There was a few little things she could tweak. When you did a turn combination and you devil paid that leg out and you were looking over your shoulder. You need to over rotate that a little bit so that leg looks to a la seconde. It was like in front of you. And the feet, the feet, the feet. It's the in between steps. I did want to say that I feel that you became more flexible as the weeks went on. Yeah. You worked on it more. You are one of the few contestants that I actually saw a physical change in since you've been here. And that's a good thing. OK. Good job. What do you mean it was so, it was so bad? What are you talking about? I feel like I could have done a lot better. And this is my last time dancing in this competition. I definitely feel like I dance way too safe. OK, Gianna. I can't help the way you feel. I thought it was beautiful. That was a safe Gianna run through. It just could have been so much better. Well, that's on you, honey. You were the one that had to do your best. If you didn't feel that was your best, I, I'm sorry. This was your one shot. All right, we've seen a group dance and solos from two of our three finalists. And now it is time for the final solo performance of the entire competition. I want you to bring what's inside of your heart and let them see it. Yep, whatever that Kaylee means. has to dance strong, and she has to be confident. The confidence is key in this competition. With a contemporary lyrical number called So Perfect, this is McKaylee.
see what the judges thought. Abby, did McKaylee deliver what you needed to see to deserve that title of Ultimate Dancer? Yes. But so did everybody else. You bobbled here and there, missed a few things. You came out of some turns out of control. You did an arabesque on releve, and you were completely on the side of your foot. Now, were you lovely? Yes. Thank you. You are like a breath of fresh air. Richard Jackson, Abby saw some bobbles. Did you also see those? <sighs> I saw a few things, yes. Your execution, your attack, the level that I have seen you at, it wasn't bad. It's just that when you set your own bar and there's a slight dip, the dip for me is like, something's not right. It was still a beautiful performance. I just have to all, yeah, it was very, it was beautiful. I'm not gonna take that away from you. I did feel this sense of, yes, this is who I am. I got it. You know, great job, but, ugh. Thank you, Richie. Michelle, we've heard some less than stellar feedback from Abby and Richie. What did you think? You know I love to say it. I completely disagree. I don't know what they were watching. Thank you. All right, Michelle. You have beautiful technique, this beautiful face and spirit and talent. You had the dynamic that Richie did not see that I did see. You went for more turns than anyone has tried to do tonight. This was the first time you chose not to be safe, not to dance safe, and you went for it. And that is brave, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Davis, turn to you now. Is McKaylee someone you could see at the Joffrey School of Ballet in New York? Well, McKaylee, I heard a lot about where you set the bar during the 11 weeks here. I haven't been here for 11 weeks. When you go out on that stage, an audience is seeing you for the first time. Unless you've been so darn good, they came back to see you again. And I would probably come back to see you again. Thank you. Final thought from Abby Lee Miller. McKaylee. You were warned that when you go out on that stage, your routine has to be worthy of $100,000. Was it good enough? Time will tell. Let's hear from McKaylee. I felt McKaylee took a lot of risks. And I really think, for once, she went out and danced for what was inside of her soul. All right, judges, we've seen a group dance and three solos from our three final competitors. And now it's time to pick which of these dancers deserves the $100,000 cash prize and a full scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet School of New York and the title of Abby's Ultimate Dancer. Gianna really set the bar high. I agree. She was a diva was, on yeah. stage. I think this kid did improve. She didn't come yeah. in here with great flexibility or technique, feet, legs. This kid did not have it. Gianna has grown the most. I saw the limitation of stretch. I saw her hitting a spot where the other dancers were going beyond. This girl has heart. I feel like she has been fighting for her flexibility, Abby, to please you. You know she's doing the work, leaving all of her fear behind and giving us a performance without fear. She had little fumbles and little technical mistakes. You forgot about them because she was so into what she was giving you. She's the one that at least the performance has been effortless. I can breathe when she I watch her. She wins me over. In a show, I agree with you 100%. This is a competition. The anticipation of waiting to hear who wins is so crazy. I'm so nervous. I really just want to win this. McKaylee's performance, were you all breathing? I was. Really? I, I did tell her that she was a breath of fresh air. You were very hard on her with the notes after after her performance. I know what Just she's so capable of. clear, I was tough on her because she set her own bar high. She is the one that came out here and wowed us week after week after week. She came into this competition 
as one of the most technically proficient dancers. Yes. Instead of doing three clean turns, she went for five, bobbled a little. I am a firm believer in a clean performance, and that's why I was disappointed in her. In the group performance, I will say that McKaylee surprised me. I thought she performed well, and she didn't give me the face of fear. I saw from McKaylee one of the things that's the hardest to do in my eyes, which is to feel good without going too far, without being cheesy. For her to come out and give us a number that had life and presence and light in the eyes, a smile, it had hope. It was about becoming beautiful, becoming something. That is the confidence. She, she came out in a beautiful costume. She came out with her hair down, and she took some risks. We're trying to teach them to be artists as well as dancers. Even though Abby didn't really like my performance, I could still win this because Rochelle is on my side, and I'm just hoping that she can tell the other judges how much I've improved because she sees it. Now, Trinity, she is the dancer that has won more challenges than anybody else here. I have to say, in her performance, she has given 1,000% as far as yes. energy, as far as dynamic. She really yes. is not a take it down here so then I can hit this. She's she's kind of, you know, a powerhouse in that way. Right. She but has... do you see versatility from her? A thousand percent. Yes. Yeah. You can throw anything at her. Yes, she may need some tweaking, but she's the one for me that has taken every genre and performed to the best of her ability without it being a crutch and something that she's not used to. However, the stretch, her flexibility. Honestly, what I did tonight, I am so proud of. I am nervous because Abby says that my feet are terrible and like my, I need to like lengthen my lines. So there's a lot of things that I feel could have been improved upon and they didn't improve. They Trinity improved. has absolutely improved. Her feet have gotten better. Her stretch, I mean, she jumps and hits a beyond a split with the power that she has, her flexibility, her tumbling. Yes. We asked her to tumble. She did not right, only did she, she tumble, into this it was gentle. We're, yes. talk, we're she talking about She came into this rope. competition as a level eight gymnast. That's right. Right. So that, to her, is cake. That's right, and she but didn't use it. It wasn't like it. her trick she pulled out no, every no. week. Did you ever see her be truly soft? No. Truly lyrical? No. The epitome of grace? No. This is not easy. They are all excellent, and I think they all did a great performance, so. It's very difficult to judge three vastly different dancers. We have deliberated over this decision. We have gone back and forth and round and round. Have you made your final decision of the season? Oh my gosh. Yes. All right, let's get the dancers and their moms out here one final time to find out their fate. Trinity, McKaylee, and Gianna. Welcome, guys. Congratulations. You all were spectacular. Now there are only two dancers in the way of the title of Abby's Ultimate Dancer. I've worked so hard being here, and I really hope it's me. This is the day that I struggle with. If I could split it all up, I certainly would. But only one person on this stage today is going to win $100,000 and a scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet School of New York. Trinity, today is not your day. Round of applause for Trinity. Even though I'm in third place, I made it to the top three in Abby's Ultimate Dance Competition. And honestly, that's amazing for me. And I felt like I left my mark. Trinity, I think that you, more than anyone else, has tried to please me. You are always right in my eye. And that takes confidence. Every challenge that you walked into, you were a threat to everybody else. <laughs> Our paths are short across again. She's not being eliminated. She's just third place. And we're just happy that we are here in the top three. And I'm very proud of her. Wow, it's been quite a journey. I've never seen the two of you before. And now, 
everybody's going to know who you are. Gianna, yes. day one, I wasn't too impressed. <sighs> and then your mother opened her mouth. And I knew who you were. You were Cindy's daughter. I was tough on you, but you rose to the challenge. Sometimes in life, people need somebody to be tough on them. Cindy, I know you're going through a lot. But you have instilled a fight in your kid and she fought to be here. Gianna, you've come a long way, baby. Win or lose, it was definitely worth all the aggravation and the tears and the stress. It was worth it. I just can't wait to find out what happens. McKaylee, quite a different relationship with your mom. You came into this competition with a ballet background with the technique of being at the studio day in and day out. It's tough to have a mother as a dance teacher. I know. Me too. You know what the corrections are gonna be before she even makes the mistake. She is not just a daughter. She's the student. Sherry, I think you're probably a lot harder on McKaylee than the moms that aren't dance teachers. No matter what happens, I am really proud of her as her teacher. I'm really proud of her as her, her mom. As an ordinary child, McKaylee has taken on extraordinary challenges. And we share this beautiful passion together. I dance right along with her when she's out there on that stage. I am so very proud to have the two of you standing here today. But we can only pick one ultimate dancer. All right, Abby, two dancers. Which one is walking out of here with $100,000 and that full scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet School of New York? McKaylee, today is your day. excited and so relieved. All my work that I did just paid off and so it was just amazing to hear that I have finally won. I'm really happy for McKaylee. Of course I am a little bit upset that I didn't win but I think making it this far has made me happy enough and I've just learned so much and I think that that alone is a big enough prize. I cannot even believe this. She's Abby's ultimate dancer. I can't even describe the feeling right now. It's really going to change McKaylee. It's going to change her life. Okay, I'm so proud of you. Dad. Dad first. Aww. Congratulations to them. Oh, this was an amazing journey. Gianna's grown so much. I'm so proud of her. I am such a huge fan. She now has the strength in her. Gianna can do anything she wants to do. Congratulations, sweetheart. You are Abby's ultimate dancer. It was a tough decision all the way around. But McKaylee had the ballet training. She had the technique. She showed us the personality and the confidence. She had the love and the passion for the art of dance. Congratulations. This is just the beginning. Thank you. We don't want to give this we one. Don't give this we don't want to give this one. We're holding on. <laughs> Congratulations. $100,000. $100,000. Oh! <laughs> Dad's holding the track. <laughs> I was just an ordinary kid from Nebraska that just was dreaming to let America see what I was made of, and my dream came true. It was such a privilege to be here and meet Rochelle and Richie and Abby. It's just an amazing opportunity. I enjoyed every second of being here. 
I feel so privileged. I think I can speak for everybody here. Thank you for sharing McKaylee with us. Yes. ultimate dancer. She's taken home $100,000 in cash and a full scholarship to the Joffrey Ballet School of New York. It's a great ending to an amazing season. Thank you and good night. Woo!